Hello and welcome to iBlueAir JGR Gaming for Comedy. This is Experience XCOM 2. Every video game is a carefully crafted experience. Some are linear in nature, others follow a more choose-your-own-adventure style, but regardless, they're experiences and in many ways they differ from person to person. Today we're going to talk about some of my experiences with XCOM 2. What would a game be without a seemingly indestructible villain to go up against? Gears of War had the Locust, Halo has the Flood, the Covenant, and a bunch of other baddies. XCOM, they've got hordes of aliens from every corner of the universe. In each of the games I mentioned, the enemies you face have a personality and XCOM is no different. My question is, how would you describe the enemies of XCOM, specifically the Advent Soldiers? I think of them as evil henchmen, like members of a goon squad tasked with raising my salt levels and enforcing the laws of the alien regime. I also think of them as nefarious, evil bastards. On the flip side, how do you feel about XCOM? I'd call them righteous resistance fighters, but there's a little bit more to it once you get through the first few hours of play. XCOM 2, like a lot of other games, is and has always been about saving the world from total destruction. But it's not always XCOM that gets the glory. Sometimes it's a single man or woman. So I think of the XCOM organization as a well-trained group of resistance fighters, but they wouldn't be anywhere without my heroes. First it was Brian Arnold, a mysterious masked man out for revenge. Then it was Bob Bob a simple southern man that liked to shoot at the aliens because they were good target practice. That was the voice I made up for him. In my most recent playthrough, if you're watching, then you already know I've got a man crush on Oliver Jones, aka the Alien Hunter. My point is, the way XCOM is designed, there are a lot of different ways to look at the overall story. The glory can be shared by everyone, or one man can be the savior of the entire human race. While we're on the subject of sharing the glory, the game's soldier customization allows you to fully customize your soldier so they're special to you. Race, nationality, cosmetics, and gender. Unlike the Master Chief and Marcus Phoenix, the characters you create in XCOM can be whomever you want them to be. Me, I like to share my glory, no pun intended, with the ladies, so I make a lot of my soldiers badass, tough-as-nails women. I get to live out my Charlie's Angels fantasy, and besides that, what's more epic and sexy than a chick with a heavy cannon and a grenade launcher? Maybe a badass chick with a sword, but I'll let you be the judge of that. XCOM 2 has a nice amount of voice acting. The game's lore gets built for you when you're constructing your base, researching alien corpses, and even while exploring new elements of the battlefield for the first time. With that said, the enemies, besides grunting and groaning, don't have much to say. But that's where imagination comes into play. Advent officers are supposed to be elite and dangerous. The pun was intended that time, but what if they were dumb, overconfident, and had very non-threatening voices? Every single time I sit down to have lunch, something goes wrong. I need orders, sir. Ah, come on, let's go, over this way. Then we've got the Mutants. They're big, they're green, they're mean, and they won't hesitate to throw a grenade at your face. But what if they were big, dumb, and in a strange way, very lovable? After coming up with a colorful cast of alien characters, I have a hard time playing through missions and taking the aliens seriously. But that's a cool part of the experience. You can make your own story for even the enemies. All in all, XCOM 2 is a really fun and wild ride with some really interesting possibilities. The game's writers and developers created a very interesting narrative, but the narrative is enhanced by the five-year-old in all of us that gets his favorite G.I. Joe and gives him a special name and sends him on crazy missions around the globe. So there you go, that's Experience XCOM 2, and this has been my experience with XCOM 2. Let me know in the comments what your experience with XCOM 2 has been like. I'm sure it's one filled with a lot of salt, because mine definitely is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go kill some aliens.